Okay, this video is going to be about number one from the 2009 Form B Calc AB exam. And it's a problem about a tree that's growing. So let's take a look. So it says, at a certain height, a tree trunk has a circular cross section. The radius r of t of that cross section grows at a rate modeled by the function dr dt equals 1 over 16 quantity 3 plus sine of t squared centimeters per year for 0 to 3 where time t is measured in years. At the time t equals 0, the radius is 6 centimeters. The area of the cross section is denoted by a of t. All right, that's a lot of stuff. First question, write an expression involving an integral um, for radius r of t between 0. What? Write an expression involving an integral for the radius r of t for 0 to 3. Use your expression to find r of 3. All right, I think I understand. So let me copy down dr dt is uh, 1 16th quantity 3 plus sine of t squared. I'm going to define that on my calculator. Um, also, uh, that's in centimeters per year. So the radius is great. That makes sense, right? Because if you measure the radius, it'd be like 3 inches or whatever, or centimeters, right? And then it would grow centimeters per year. And then we also are told in the problem that r of 0 is 6. So what I'm going to do is use that information to write an accumulation function. So an accumulation function is basically the fundamental theorem, just kind of like rewritten a little bit. So r of t is going to be the amount I start with, which is 6, plus the integral from where I started, which was 0, to time t of, I'm going to say, r prime of x dx. So I'm just using a dummy variable. It's just got to be a variable that's not used in the problem. So I can't use t. I can't use r. Could have used anything else. All right, and uh, so that is my expression involving an integral um, for the radius r of t. Then I'm going to find r of 3. So let me show you what my calculator looked like. Uh, I defined dr dt. Usually I define, uh, I'm a little inconsistent on this. If you told me it was r prime, I would have named it rp of t. But if you tell me it's dr dt, I'm going to name it dr of t, which is actually the one that I prefer. I don't know why I always would do the like rp thing. Um, so I define that, it says done. Then I define the function r of t because the ti inspire is amazing and we'll just work with that. And then I just had it find r of three. I got a decimal in case it was gonna try to give me some crazy uh, exact value, which I don't think it would be able to in this case. Uh, so now I'm gonna say r prime, no, sorry, r of three is approximately 6.611. And uh, I guess the units on that would have been centimeters, uh, but I forgot to put them, so. Let's take a look at the next part. We want to find the rate at which the cross-sectional area, A of t, is increasing at time t equals three years and indicate units of measure. All right, so we were told that the cross-sections are um, circles, right? So uh, here's a circle, and then it has a radius, and the radius is named R of t. So the area of that, which I'll call a of t, well actually they told me to call it a of t, is gonna be pi r squared. So pi, then I'm gonna go with the quantity, uh, capital R of t, and then we have to square our radius. All right, so that's the area, and we are trying to find the rate at which that's changing. So that would be a prime of t. So a prime of t is a chain rule problem. It's gonna be uh, pi and then Bring the 2 down times r of t times r prime of t by the chain rule. So I'm going to write 2 pi r of t and then times by the chain rule r prime of t. Okay, so that's what we have. And then we're supposed to find um, a prime of 3. So a prime of 3, uh, this calculator, so I'll show you what I've done, is going to look like um, so I define, you can see there, I defined it as AP of T because the problem said A prime. Could have said DA of T, um, whatever. A prime of T is two pi R of T times DR of T. And then I needed to find A prime of three, so I just plugged it in. I got 8.858, so 8.858, and then indicate units of measure. So area is gonna be in square centimeters and then time is measured in years, so it's gonna be centimeters squared per year. All right, let's take a look at part C. Part C says, evaluate the integral from zero to three of a prime of t dt. After you do that, 
uh, use appropriate units, interpret the meaning of the integral in terms of the cross-sectional area. Okay, so first let's just knock this out. This is a calculator problem. Sometimes they ask questions that are literally just, can you use your calculator? And I think that's really interesting. Um, so this is going to be um, a of three minus a of zero um, by the fundamental theorem. And then we have defined um, this, so we can just like do it, right? I'm just gonna integrate this. Uh, here's my calculator work. So I get 24.201. So the reason I wrote the fundamental theorem part there was that uh, I think that can help you to interpret it, right? So we're doing uh, the difference between where we are at three, the cross-sectional area at three, and the cross-sectional area at zero. So thinking in terms of interpreting it, I'm gonna write, um, so I'm gonna write from t equals zero to t equals three years, and that'll be in years. You always, when you're interpreting, you always wanna use the units on things. Um, you know, that's, that's how you interpret. So from t equals zero to t equals three years, uh, what did we find? We found the cross-sectional area, and we found that it increased because uh, our integral was positive. So increased or grows by, and then the value that we found, 24.201 square centimeters. So on that three-year interval, you picked up 24.201 square centimeters of cross-sectional area. All right, um, that's the entire problem. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.